Hi everyone, I'm Sean Duhamel from the Mass Retirees Association. Thank you for tuning in once again. Today is Friday, December 6th. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We have less than three weeks to go until Christmas. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but time's flying by. But we are really busy here at Mass Retirees. Um, we hit the ground running right after the Thanksgiving break. And we just went to press um, just a couple of days ago, as a matter of fact, with our January 2020, if you can believe it, um, the voice of the public retiree. Here it is. Um, you're going to get it in your mailboxes in about two weeks. So it'll be before Christmas. It always comes out uh, a couple weeks before the end of the month. We publish, publish this six times a year for those of you who don't know. Now, by the way, if you're not yet a Mass Retirees member and you are a Massachusetts retired public employee, please consider joining with us. If you're an active employee here in Massachusetts and you're eligible to retire, you're thinking about retiring, you can also um, become a subscriber, a Mass Retirees subscriber. You get a copy of our newsletter, you get our digital information, and it's a great way to keep you informed and engaged and make sure that, that you have all the information that you need in order to effectively retire and do it the right way. But let me jump right into the news of the week. Um, You'll see in the newsletter, right on the front page, we're once again talking about Social Security and specifically the windfall elimination provision and the government pension offset and all of the work that our association is doing along with different groups around the country to try to finally get something done for you. To put more money back in your pockets, to reform the windfall elimination provision first and foremost. Also, the long-term goal is to also reform the government pension offset. Now, these issues have been kicking around now almost 37 years, if you can believe it. Not a single bill um, has ever made its way through either branch of Congress, and we're really hoping and we're doing every, every single thing we possibly can to change that and get something done this year. Now, we believe the H.R. 4540, which has been filed by Congressman Richie Neal, who's our congressman here from Massachusetts, Congressman Neal is also the House Chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, a very powerful position. Chairman Neal has crafted H.R. 4540. We believe that this bill is a viable bill, meaning that it stands a reasonably good chance of passing through both branches of Congress. But we think that this is our best hope that we have ever had of finally doing something to provide relief for current retirees, who have been harmed by WEP. In other words, if your social security benefit has been reduced, and here in Massachusetts, we have 73,000 Massachusetts residents who are impacted by the windfall elimination provision. Across the country, there are nearly 2 million public retirees impacted by the WEP. That's a lot of people, that's a lot of people who vote, and we're doing all we can to get folks engaged. So you'll see right here on the front page of the newsletter, top story, is the work we have done with our friends down in Texas, the Texas Retired Teachers Association, led by my good friend Tim Lee. We have formed the Public Retirees Alliance. This is a national organization that's open to all public retirees across the country, and our focus is to pass WEP reform this session, to do something to provide relief to our members. We're not just gonna sit back and wait for others to act and, and hope for the best, we're taking the bull by the horns, as they say, and that's a little throwback to our friends down in Texas, and we're going to do all we can to make something happen. And if you haven't done so already, please visit um, publicretirees.org. That's the website. If you're a Facebook user, Public Retirees Alliance is our Facebook page. Visit the page, like the page, follow the page. It's going to be a great way for you to keep in touch with what's going on, be engaged with what's going on. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you contact your local member of Congress. As of today, we have 74 members of the House of Representatives who are co-sponsors of H.R. 4540. That includes all nine members of the Massachusetts delegation. So we're making great strides. This bill was just filed two months ago. Uh, we have come a long way in two months. Um, but we have a long way to go as well to get this done. So if you haven't done so already, contact your local member of Congress. Ask them two things. Become a co-sponsor of H.R. 4540 and make this issue, which is 
reform of the windfall elimination provision make this a priority for action this session. Now, for those of you who are impacted by the government pension offset, we're not forgetting about you, we're not leaving you behind, but unfortunately, we need to address these issues in a two-step process, or phase one and phase two. The first step, of course, is the work that's now being done on the windfall elimination provision, but we're not gonna forget about anybody. We're gonna keep working at this until we also find a way to reform the government pension offset. And we're not quite there yet. We don't have a consensus around how to reform the GPO. And for those of you asking, well, why can't both of these laws just simply be repealed? That's just not possible. That has been tried for 37 years, just about. Again, we have never, ever made any progress on full repeal. Despite all the talk and people signing onto various bills, it's not a viable option. It's not going to happen. And we can't sit by and allow the insistence on the perfect to be the enemy of the good. It's my job and Tim's job and the job of the other folks around the country who we're working with to do the best we can to provide relief for our members today and not continue to strive towards something that is this wonderful goal, but that we all know is just not gonna happen. It's just not a realistic approach at the present time. Uh, that doesn't mean that we can't keep trying to improve the situation and, and do all we can to put every single penny of your money back in your pocket. That's absolutely what we're gonna do. But in the meantime, we need to start someplace. H.R. 4540 is the place to start. It would give an extra $150 a month in your Social Security benefit. That's $1,800 a year for those of you who are impacted by the WEP. And it reforms the WEP formula going forward. So retirees beginning in, in 2022, anybody becoming eligible for Social Security from that point forward, they have a new fair proportional formula that will accurately calculate their social security benefit. So with that, I'm gonna sign off for the week. I've gotta get out to Auburn, Mass. We have our final Mass Retirees Annual Meeting at the Auburn Elks later this morning. For our Central Mass members, I will see you there. For the rest of you, tune in again next Friday for the latest update of this hotline or of this message. And I don't know what it's gonna be just yet, so it'll be a surprise for everybody. But thank you again so much for all the support that you continue to give us.